and decided to come anyway. So a special thank you to you for that extra effort. Before I say a word or two about the group, how about the dress? Everything about this wedding, I think you'll agree, has been absolutely beautiful. Mammoth effort, and it's just come off so nice, I couldn't wish for anything better than my best friend. Um, especially since for a man who swore he would never get married. <laughs> <laughs> He's taken to the institution of marriage quite well, I think. <laughs> I hope the excitement doesn't detract too much from remembering the meaning behind the festivities. Even the word wedding, steeped in tradition, you know, Chris, as a linguist, it's an old English construction, combining the word wed to unite or marry with the word ding, the time it makes when your eggs are ready. <laughs> <laughs> when Chris asked me to be his best man, I immediately thought of his speech. I saw it as an opportunity to talk about a great hero of mine. A wonderful, handsome, kind-hearted man who was admired by many. Then I showed the first draft of this speech to my partner Lucy, and she said to me, For once you like Chris, stop, don't talk about it. Talk about someone other than yourself. <laughs> <laughs> but unlike many best men you've probably encountered over the years, who were either old school friends or childhood friends of the groom, Chris and I actually met about nine years ago in our freshest year of Oxford Brooks. So not knowing an awful lot about his past, I made some inquiries at his local police station. <laughs> I thought that'd be a good place to start looking for that. But they had nothing to say other than every time he stayed over, he was a perfect guest. <laughs> I spent a long time wondering how to describe Chris, with the respect due to a man in his wedding day, how to strike the right tone of sincerity, praise and warmth. <clears throat> then I decided it's impossible, so I decided to take the mickey instead. <laughs> First, let's applaud Chris for his appearance today. I think you all agree he looks wonderful in his wedding suit. And let me tell you, he has tried very hard to stay in shape for today. <laughs> in fact, for a long time now, he's observed a very strict fitness regime, which is even better when I consider that on our first day of university, when our first fresh-faced 19-year-old Chris handing out board sweets from a saucepan. <laughs> to his new housemates and their parents with a cheeky, boyish grin. <laughs> Robbo will agree, we all thought it'd be him wearing the dress today. <laughs> <laughs> Chris is a man who truly defies his script. I can speak for an hour. Don't worry, I'm not going to. And when I'd finished, we'd be no closer to grasping the essential essence of my dear friend. And yet, miraculously, he can be described very neatly with a single, internationally recognised hand gesture. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, Chris is pretty like a brother to me, and I, for one, am very grateful that I can be part of their special day. So finally, I'd like to give the newlyweds the traditional best man's wish for good luck, good health, and happiness. May all their troubles be little ones, and I'm sure you'll agree that Chris and Tash are well suited ideal, perfect couple. They thoroughly deserve all the happiness they're going to share together. So ladies and gentlemen, thanks for listening. Could you please all stand? Raise your glasses to the wonderful people without whom none of us would be here today. Ladies and gentlemen, to the bar staff. Yeah. To Christian Tash, the bride and groom. Yeah. And now,